hi guys welcome to today's video so today we're creating a sketchbook a really simple and beautiful one so you can see here a little uh, pile of some sketchbooks we have created or are going to create they're a bit more complex so the top one with the um the powder blue one we've done that on the channel the middle one we're going to do uh, and this one is just a really beautiful one um, and easy to make so I have a couple of tips and I just want to take you through it um, the first thing to do is I kind of figure out what size paper that I want and I'm getting I'm using a really large sheet of uh, my favorite paper which I'll link below but you can use you know any of your your favorite paper from the art store some that you have on hand uh, paper pads or anything like that um, but so I usually go down the width first of all the shorter side and I will divide that maybe into thirds and then you can see that I just take my little crochet hook and a um, T bar measuring thing and I create a little score and you can see that that um, creates a really easy way to get a really nice crisp crease and then you can just easily tear along that crease but if it's a thicker paper like this one here's a, a quite a thick paper and so I actually after I've done the score I will go down the whole length of that score line so this is just a little scrap but you'll go down the whole length of the paper with some water on a paintbrush and it just makes it really easy to actually um, make that crease and then I and then I also take a bone folder and um, just give that a little like a little bit of an extra firm push and then I'll tear that width and then I go back again along the length of the um, paper and you know just use that paper to measure so I'm not using a ruler to measure I just I tear out a piece of paper to the size that I want and then I'll use the paper to you know measure it's a bit quicker um, and then I just take the uh, the trusty little crochet hook this is just a little metal one from Michaels but I, I use it all the time so um, yeah and then I just put the ribbon through and you have this really beautiful um, sketchbook so I don't you can see there like I leave some room for the ribbon I don't I don't tie it all the way up so that the book can open and then um, we're going to just create like a little sort of uh, jacket for the you know like a book cover or a book sleeve um, for the you know the sketchbook we've created to go in so I basically I'm using a printable which you just saw and then I just take one of the back of one of the pads like that and I'll just cut out with a craft knife um, to the size that we need it and you can see that this is kind of inspired by this book which I will link this video because this is my favorite um, sketchbook last year I really loved this one um, it's got a lot of paper um, the paper is quite thin but you can like it's you can use both sides easily it's just a really beautiful paper and I think that she has some now in the shop with thicker paper but I'm just gonna keep repurchasing this one because I really like the amount of pages that you get in there um, and yes yeah, so I'll link that video below with all the links you know it'll have all the links to that one um, but yeah, so this is a really nice one if you have um, scraps of paper, if you have cotton paper, like it's quite hard to find cotton paper or the exact paper that you like to use in a sketchbook. And so this is a really nice way to, um, you know, create your own. It's very easy. It's very quick. Um, you can see there that I've just used double sided tape and I'm just putting it on the back edge there and yeah just a very easy way to um, adhere that and then I just actually lay the book inside it so I never adhere this book to it I mean you could actually adhere the back page to it but I just find it that it's really handy to have this kind of book sleeve it keeps it you know clean and then I just flip that over and yeah I just really enjoy the way that you can kind of flip the page op over and then you've still got the back the cardboard at the back to kind of keep it all um, like you know to have kind of a, a hard writing surface if you want to take this somewhere it's a little bit less practical than like a regular bound book but I've just really enjoyed it and I like the fact that you can use 
you know any paper that you want and lastly we have these so these are some old kind of bound pages I didn't really bind this as a sketchbook but you could absolutely do that so this is just the Walmart paper pad like watercolor paper pad and then some book rings from from Walmart and um, you can use the book rings on this paper because it's thicker so you know the other the cotton paper is a little bit too flimsy and I think um, it just wouldn't work as well um, but I mean you guys can let me know if you've tried this with other paper or if you have a favorite paper or a favorite sketchbook let us know below because it is one of the most common questions and it is a really difficult thing um, to find so yeah um, that is a really simple and easy way um, to do things as well but I hope these tips were helpful I know this was a quick video it's kind of hard to film this um, you know one-handed but anyway oh also those were the um, the like paint I got a question about them the other day on my desk I've got this whole um, pile of color swatch cards and I'll link that video below I really enjoyed doing that it teaches you so much about um, your colors and yes oh the other thing is so I forgot about this footage so uh, this is coming up in the Christmas um, haul it's the white ibis um, sketchbook from Holbein it is so beautiful so we've been using this one here um, for the advent calendar you can find this in day two of the advent but I don't really love um, I haven't been really loving it and I, I found this one and I'm getting questions about you know glazing and how it would you know the um, so this day three I think is when we did this kind of stone um, carving and so what I did is I just went to the back of this book to kind of try some different uh, mixing and you know try some things and I, I did this I redid it and I kept adding and adding and adding and this paper it, it glazes so beautifully you can see here it's lifted really nicely considering there's four um, you know there was four pile, like four colors there in a pile and um, yeah I, I really love it it doesn't take very long to dry before you can add the next layer as well so really loving that um, there'll be more about that coming up but we, if we don't actually have snow we're hoping I think for a white Christmas I'm fine <laughs> with not having snow for the minute because yeah we've just had some really nice um, sunny days which has been nice but um, yeah I hope you guys are doing well again let us know you know any tips that you have or any um, of your favorite sketching um, tutorials like sketchbook making tutorials here on YouTube as well and I will see you guys soon bye